Well, we're done milking. I'm not gonna lie, I was cold this morning. I guess when it's cold outside, Allie decides to milk more. This is a three gallon jug. And she's probably hitting almost whole two and a half gallons. Three gallons is about right here, right when you crest. It's not the top, it's right here where you crest. So uh, every line basically is your gallon and that's where that crest is there. So man, that's a lot of milk. Plus this milk. Plus that milk. So all in all, we've got roughly about eight gallons in the house. Uh, we're just good. Misty's making yogurt today. That takes about a gallon. Uh, she made butter just uh, yesterday or the day before. So she'll probably make some more butter today too. But man, I'm pleased with that. When you go out and freeze your till to death, it's good that you have something to look forward to. We never run out of milk now, so that's a good thing. We went that, I don't know, four or five, six weeks, however long it was, without milk. And trying to store milk as much as we drink, that's a lot. It's cold. It's about, uh, I'd say around 35 right now, which is not bad, but it's supposed to drop below 30 tonight. And when it drops below 30, it kind of worries us because of you know, all the raised beds and uh, all the green. So we're going to go cover up at least the raised beds right now get them taken care of and see if we can save them from getting hurt so it's amazing we start before daylight and still the sunset even though it's beautiful to see we're still outside working i do have my favorite sweater on there and it's very warm but uh, we got this one covered here you see both beds covered this has got a lot in it. This has just got a little bit. So we got those covered. I think I've got one or two more row covers. I'm going to try to get on the the rest of some of the, the greens out in the middle. I have some immature greens. So that's the ones I'm worried about covering. <laughs> but the uh, the other ones I'm not worried about. I just want to cover the immature greens. See if we can get them covered really quick. We use uh, this uh, ag fabric. It's just a row cover it really does well we've never had an issue with it so we've been pleased with it so let's get it on out there maybe it's too dark to do anything all right as you can see uh <clears throat> it's definitely not the prettiest but we got the main two there's two rows under this one had a little excess i covered up part of this row i don't it's, it's not really a good row anyway then we got another two rows we left one row undone because it's mature i think it will be okay even through frost and then we have the another row that's doing really good uh, it's not as mature but it's still a little bit more true it might be okay if we didn't cover it <coughs> excuse me but i didn't want to risk it just since we left this one open so i think we're good we didn't get the salad heart down <laughs> it's too much but we'll try to get them down tomorrow but at least we got those covered we got the raised beds covered that's the main thing all right as you see the sun is setting Miss Mac has got me a cup of coffee waiting in there, and I am going to sit with some slippers on in the warmth because it is cold. Well, good afternoon. Absolutely beautiful day. Uh, it reminds you of a early fall day. Uh, it's about 60 outside. Just beautiful, beautiful sun uh, today. It's almost the sunset because we're getting to the end of the day. Meat birds are doing wonderful. They're hanging out while they want some more food because they're following me around. <laughs> so we're going to move some hay and then we're going to kind of take the afternoon off. We're going to have some fun for family time. Aiden's watching the vehicle. Mama's playing with the kids. I mean, I've got to do a little bit of this. But today is mine 
Uh, wait, that might be wrong to say it like that. Today is my wife and mine, or ours, or ours, however you want to say it, our anniversary. So I'm stoked. We're going to have a great day. We're going to cook together tonight as a family. We've been married 13 years, so awesome. 13. To me, it's been short and awesome. To her, she might say it's long and exhausting. No, she wouldn't say that. We've had a great, great, great 13 years. We were high school sweethearts, so um, we've had we've been together for a while, and then got married uh, in 2006. So, so we are we are we are uh, in love more than ever. So happy anniversary to my wife. But we're gonna just take the afternoon off. Basically, we're gonna um, I gotta get some hay move for the cows, and then after that, we're just gonna relax and have a good day. So uh, we're gonna bring you along for the first part of the day, and like I said. Uh, uh, let you see the kids having some fun and, and mommy having some fun doing some things with the kids and uh, You see the greens behind me. We ate some of them last night. They were the bomb uh, Let me just give you a little quick tidbit on, on greens You know everybody wants greens mature greens almost like a, a head of greens or the big leaves um, If you like greens, but don't like the bitterness uh, or you like greens, but you don't like sometimes they take forever to cook out Eat them like we do eat them when they're more immature greens. so um, for instance, we eat, sorry about the bad sunlight, we eat them when they're, let me show you right quick, put them over here, we eat them like this every time we've ever ate greens and we make them, if you eat them like this, you'll never eat them from the store bought taste again. See this? This is JJ when we were wrestling with JJ and he like grabbed my face. Okay, let me show you how I eat them. Okay, you see how these are growing as a patch? See this leaf right here? It's about six inches that's about as big as i let them get that right there is good because the stem and all is very immature it's not bitter it's not a hard stem that you got to cut around we eat them just like that and they are phenomenal uh, we eat them with misty makes homemade cornbread so if you're looking for a good green but that you don't like them real bitter tasting get them when they're they're that size so let's move some hay and then uh we're gonna call it a day doesn't know what's coming for her, does she? Her trainer a little bit and she's mad you can tell she's very upset she flopped once but this will help her hopefully get in routine to, to follow us and also one day and you know you think two years is, is a long time off but if you start training her now that'll make when we do milk her very very easy um, by making her more of a pet than just livestock just like we've done with Allie and with Elsa um, and even daddy -o. Our goal is to make sure that they know that they're part of the family. So the more I do this, the more she hates me right now, but hopefully she'll get to where, especially when she's on feed. She's starting to smell feed now. 
she's not really wanting it yet, but I'm hoping once she starts wanting feed, that helps me attract her to the collar, uh, just like it does Allie with going in to eat, so. He is done. We've got everything done. Aiden finishing his chores. As I said, it's mine and Miss Max's anniversary, so we are gonna call it a night. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. We've had a wonderful day. They have just resting. We usually don't get too much rest, and don't get me wrong, we're still out here doing some work. But uh, as you saw, we got to um, do a little training with with Josie, and uh, you know what? I think so far it's been a a very good time with her. She's um. She's doing really good. Uh, she's a little skittish just because she don't want to be especially hooked up to a, a collar. But again, by training her early, it will help her be a better cow later. So that's our thoughts. So. All right, so we have been married for 13 years. We are finishing up today on the farm. I told you we were gonna to try to have a little bit easier day. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful day and we have enjoyed it. You see Aiden's finishing up his chores of cleaning the vehicles today. Uh, and the kids are just playing, but uh, we're going to go in, have a good family night, eat some supper. and uh, Josie's and... still mad at us. <laughs> if she could, she'd probably ram me right now. If, I, if you see me go down like that, that's probably what it was. So. Happy Thanksgiving.